Čau, vecmam, viņi redz mani! My name is Ilza Garoza. I come from Latvia. I am currently a graduate student at the University of Minnesota and have been translating immigrant letters at the Immigration History Research Center. Well, when I think of my conversations with my grandmother in Latvia over Skype and comparing them with the letters exchanged between this mother in Latvia and her emigre son in Minneapolis, I cannot express how blessed I feel knowing that I can communicate so freely. It was astonishing to see how governments could keep the people apart, but they couldn't keep the hearts apart. It's very emotionally hard to read uh, these letters where you see this desperation and knowing that they're, they'll never meet again. And that just brings an entirely different light to my communication with my grandmother. I find archiving immigrant letters being very important. Uh, what does it actually mean to leave a country? What does it mean to leave somebody behind? How is it to be in one of these roles, which you as a reader can relate to? Because this is so personal. It's not just history. It's not only statistics. It's really the the core of um, human uh, communication. 1974. Minneapolis. Māt, es mēģināšu gan to biežāk rakstīt. Mēs dzīvojam tāpat kā ar vienu. Man darbs pras ar vien vairāk laika. Es tagad bieži strādāju līdz vēlam vakaram. Un tad, kad mājās pārnāku, negrib neko daudz darīt. When I interview people nowadays, they are selective on things that, what they want to remember, what they want to share. But these letters really capture in time whatever was going on in their minds. I've read literature. I've read documents but nothing really tells the story the way the letters tell 1969. gada 14. decembrī Siliņos atcerēsimies 31 gadu atpakaļ bijām vēl visi kopā šitais laiks ir katru gadu man vissāpīgāks es raudu katru dienu man nav pasaulē neviena tuvinieka izņemot tevi arī tevi vairs nevar redzēt tas man sāp briesmīgi a kā tu skaties uz to, kā Anet dosies tālāk? Tāds laiks, mēs tam visi braukā pa pasauli. Mēs piedodījām arī bērni visi braukā trīs. When I think of the letters um, between Anna Pikens in Latvian countryside and Edwards, her son in Minneapolis, I often thought of the pace of time. How much time do we actually take out to uh, communicate with uh, people we care for? Being caught up in a city life, it's just the easiest thing you do. I mean, you feel busy, well, you are busy, but then at what what price does it come at? Um... Labi, nu tad atā. Labi, atā.